there. There it goes. All right, just some uh, pre-game. The teams are uh, are all there. 14 on 14. They've decided to play. So I'll just leave that list up so you can have a look at it. Now, maps tonight are Sandstorm, which we're currently on, Thunder Giant, which is a new X2 map, and the tiebreaker being Quagmire. Now, the last time these two teams uh, met, it was very close, and both maps, of course, went to OT, and the E comeback on Beach Blitz was something else. They came from, I think, uh, three caps down with a couple of minutes left to uh, even the map and take it to overtime, and unfortunately lost it there. Now, um, we s I spoke to some of the guys from Olm uh, pre-game, and they're Bye. reasonably confident that they can... They can win this match. Uh, they think that it's going to be pretty tough, and that E will uh, wanting to come back Hello. after the last loss and how close the last uh, game that these two teams had was. Uh, and they also think they're going to have to work pretty hard to to prevent uh, Exiled from winning, which was interesting that they uh, chose to prevent them from winning rather than uh, than uh, winning it themselves. So. Uh, I'm just getting some PMs and IRC Quiet, and Paradox, please. leave me alone. Uh, now E, I spoke to the E guys and they said a couple of interesting things. One is that, uh, this is from Raiden, uh, we are fucking confident Ulm are going to have bleeding asses after this encounter. So uh, I think they're uh, pretty confident they're going to win this match. So we'll see how that pans out. And also the return of Chromax, uh, as you can probably see on the list there, Lord Crow. Chromax is uh, making his return, I believe, to... Tribes 2, the Tribes 2 arena uh, in this match, so he's uh, got out of that uh, X, uh, the, sorry, the uh, W, the Warcraft faggotry, so we'll uh, see how he goes tonight. Now, a couple of shout outs while we're just waiting for this match to start, I might put a tune on in a sec. Uh, we've got A3, uh, shout out to Sidewinder for being a cock wallet. Uh, Soul, nice. a shout out to Ooh. SH, may they get some skill, and he might be regretting saying that later on tonight, we'll see. Another one from A3. Good game. Uh, big ups to Debt Death and his voice com leapness. Uh, one from Pepash, or a shout out to Pepper rather, because he's not playing tonight. And Centurion, uh, shout out to Lano's Cactus. So uh, what I'll do is just chuck a tune no. on here. While we're waiting for these uh, guys to get this match underway, they're all teamed up and ready to go. So let's chuck a tune on. This is... Uh, RJD2 with uh, the horror here. It is. We just had the 30 second Quiet, countdown, so we'll uh, kill that tune. Unfortunately, didn't get all the way through it. So we've 
got uh, 15 seconds. Ulm on the Inferno side and Exiled on the Storm seconds. side. And we'll just take a look at this map. It's obviously for you guys who haven't seen this, and I'm sure Five, you probably have in a uh, pub play. Move, Match got begins these massive bases towards now. the back, back of the map. And we've got the two flag towers that are really out in the middle here, and there's not a great distance between the two. So it is vitally important that you've got LD and uh, deployed IMS and whatnot around these uh, flag areas if you want to uh, keep hold of your flag and then be able to chase it down when it does go. So we're on the OM side here, and we'll just watch who's this probably Mongol coming up to do his HOF duties. We've got a strike going off there. And. Um, Sorry, I'm just going to jump out into IRC. Alright, apparently some people are having some problems there. I'm not sure what's going on. It's okay for me now. We've got an Exile player running in here. Uh, HO coming in, we'll just lost him. There he is. Uh, it is Jack, and he's got an E-pack there, and he's getting harassed. Uh, a lot of flares being dumped off. The stick of this side has got Wild Kazoo from HO. Around there, he copped a mine disc there from Ulm Bungle, uh, which takes him out and some random disc fire. We'll just take a run through midfield and see what can happen. Look at that spam coming in from both sides there onto the flag stand and onto the turrets. A um, couple of HO running, uh, dueling in midfield by the looks of it. This is, I'm not sure how you say this, but Tetris uh, I think it's A3 there, um, changing his name just to piss me off. Now we've got a grab there from Ambient from the uh, on site. He is through midfield. Good health. He's got a strike coming after him, dropping flares off. Discs are missing. Snipe hits him. He's down to yellow, deep red now. Let's see if he can make this home. He's looking to throw the flag. And was that what happened then? That was a, a throw and a quick return. He threw it right into a into Jack, <laughs> who was uh, hoeing in. That was uh, funny. There's sort of some rolls going off in the, um, the chat there. Uh, so this is the east side here, we've got, no sorry, on side, so that's uh, Mongol on the uh, Inferno side laying an inv out. Let's uh, jump around and take a look. This is the E base, uh, Raiden doing the um, HD in there of the uh, Jens uh, Spider on uh, HOF there for the east side. We've got a Shrike buzzing the uh, flag there, Bruticus running around in his uh, usual LD. We've got a Kappa inbound by the looks of it there. And that was uh, Bungle who got nailed, I think, by a disc from Wildcat. So we'll just stick with the east side. There's some turret fire going off there. We'll just take a look around and see if they've got any. We've got a couple of uh, that's a nice, some nice uh, turret places. And you can see them right on the edge. The strike uh, and a on player there just getting nailed. That was uh, Assassin taking ball down with a spin fuser. So it looks like both teams have got some. Um, some strikes in the air. I'll just take a look at Crow and see what he's doing in his return game. Looks like he's sitting up for a hoe run. Probably going to just jump out the top here. You have to hear. There he goes. All right, we've got a grab from that. In, in a million foot pot here, he didn't get anywhere at all. Looks like he ran into the pole and got nailed. So uh, that was uh, Bruticus taking him down with a chain gun there. So current scores: we've got two grabs to Ulm, none to E. Uh, 21 minutes left on the map. Uh, apparently people are having some problems there, we'll just see. Let me just, give me a sec to... Alright, so, let's take a look where we are here. We've got Spider, this is the east side, some spam coming in as he hides behind the pole there to try and get away from it. Doesn't need to be an inbound capper, so they're not timing their uh, runs too well. And look at this long range spam coming in here from uh, way back, and it's right on the turret there. Let's take a look at that and see how it's going. This is east side, and it's already well dead, so uh, just spamming away for nothing there. And uh, Spider pointing out a strike that's coming in there, and here comes a capper straight from the strike, and he. The Spider kills himself, and that was. I'm not sure who that was. Alright, we've got a grab here by Pot in a medium kit. He's green health. He's probably going to look for a disc jump or team cops a grenade in the back, so that's going to uh, not be, he's not going to be able to do that. He's going to need to look for a teammate flag in the field. 
doesn't appear to be anyone around it. Here comes an on player now, and that is returned there by Ferno. Some good work on the chase and return. Uh, apparently I'm gonna need to restart here. Alright, we had a grab there. Alright, and sorry I missed that. I'm apparently, I'm just trying to see if everyone can see this. So apparently, uh, there's some... Um, people that are lagging a little bit, or what have you, so uh, we're on the way, so we'll uh, just let this go from now, there's not much I can do about it, sorry about that. Alright, so we actually had a grab by E there, which was quickly dropped. We've got the score that's uh, three grabs to Ohm and one to E. We've got about 19 minutes left in the game, and this is fairly even at the moment. Both teams are sending a lot of hoe in, but uh, the flag runners aren't getting too far. Now we've got an inbound capper here by the looks of it, we'll just stick here, this is the Ohm side, and the HOF is dead, and there's a couple of hoe laying around there. And here we go, we've got, this is Ambient with the flag from the on side and he gets nailed, chained down by JB and uh, flag returned there by King Camo. So, uh, only held the flag there uh, for, he only held the flag there for a couple of seconds. We've got another grab there. And we can look at here. And we have them on 56, apparently we're buffering a little bit. Um, so we had a grab there from the on side and that was Potsy and only three second hold so let's take a look around the bases here. I think that is the on base we've got Incredulous doing the HD down there, but the mines laid out, we'll leave him. Uh, on again, this is their flag stamp and spam coming in there. And this is the E side so they're all up there by the looks of it. Uh, v pads looking good so it looks like both teams aren't really going for the base attacks too much. There are trying to concentrate on that flag area. So this is the east side, some heavy hoe in there and Spider trying to avoid a mortar and dead and we had a grab there. That didn't, we didn't pick that up, that was uh, Ambient who didn't hold it, got killed on the stand. Um, team kill by the looks of it. Yes it was, mortar, uh, Hawk uh, doing some HO work, TK'd him. So we're still on the east side here. Let's take a look at their deployed defences. There's only one, oh there's two turrets up there. Doesn't appear to be too many spikes out there. Uh, the base turrets are all down by the looks of it, and they've got a Shrike D up and a, a jeweler coming in here. Here, this is Mojo Man uh, coming in, and his uh, Shrike is dead and he's jumped out and throwing some uh, grenades around at the flag then. Uh, so, currently five grabs to one to Ohm. Uh, Ohm, sorry, and we've got about 17 minutes left on the map, so no team is really making too many inroads here. And as I say that, we've got a grab from Hawk, who gets nailed by a uh, quick uh, plant card there and destroyed as, uh, who was that? Two, two, uh, two E players there taken out simultaneously. Uh, now we've got, this is Potsy with the flag, he's got no momentum, he's in a medium kit, he's got guys all out all over him but he's getting close to his base he might he might be able to get this back if his LD comes out and uh, all, he might get all the way the chasers aren't uh, quite a ways behind him and here he comes he misses the flag he's gonna be in trouble here if these chasers catch up there you go Team Inferno so scores. that's the first cap I'll get the first cap and uh, making it uh, one to zero and we've got about half the map left 16 minutes or so so Potsy with the grab and uh, convert that we've got JB with the grab and he obviously in his uh, following through in his LD roll there he's uh, just taking the opportunity to pick that flag up and uh, didn't have any sort of speed at all and he got taken out there by uh, Ohm Hero and uh, flag returned by Hero as well. And we're getting a bit of buffering here, I'm just going to have to keep going with this, I'm real sorry, we'll probably pick this up a bit later, we might try and change the VA server uh, for the next map if it's available. Alright, let's take a look at Jaffe here, he's coming in to, uh, to do some hoe, we'll just uh, pick him up, throwing a lot of mortars, getting some uh, good on the flag action there, and looks like the LD is cleared out, so he's uh, changing, alright, we had a grab there from... Thanks. Had a grab there from uh, Ambient and killed on the flag stand. 
there, and that was a PK. So uh, again, on taking out their own cappers on the stand. So the are not communicating the spam too well. All right, we've got Daffy with a grab here. He's got not good momentum. He's got grenades after him and mortars and grenades. Look at them all coming at him, but he's got got some good speed now, and he's in good health. He's heading towards his flag. If his flag's at home, he's going to cap this by the looks of it. Here he comes. He's going to even it up. And he hits the flag stand, and oh, Team he just score. got it in there with some score. grenades coming down on him. So that evens the map up. We're at one all. The, the tying cap there from from E, and uh, 14 minutes or so left. Um, and we are one all to uh, at the moment. And apparently, some people are buffering, and others aren't. I'm not sure what's going on. We'll try and fix that for the next map. So we've got. Um, a lot of action going on here. This is the uh, this is the E side of the map, the exiled side of the map, and some light dueling going on there. Maybe on, maybe switching to some plus tactics. But look at all those uh, those uh, turrets going off there. There's three or four of them laying around there. We might have a capper inbound here. We'll jump back over to the flag. And whoever that was can get up the hill. Or I've got Wildcat with a grab. He's got good speed. He's in about half health. He is taking a a long way around is he? Yeah, a little bit, and he's going to hit a good bump here though, and let's look behind him, he's got one chaser that's kind of missed him, and he's coming into his flag, he's going to cap this, oh, he got nailed there, who was that? That was Mojo with the great work, and he's got the switch, here we go, Bruticus with a pick up, he is, and we've got a, a simultaneous uh, pick up by Potsy from Om, so Bruticus is going to have to hold this flag, as, as I say that, he gets nailed and returned there. That was uh, Mojo Man again with the return. Uh, and he picks it up now. We've got a heavy grab here. Who's this? This is Jaffa with a heavy grab. He's got some decent speed. He's heading over towards the base, but his route's not great. He's popped the disc in the front there. He's going to want to look for a teammate. Uh, the the E-flag is also in the field there. We'll stick with Jaffa here and see what he can do. He's in deep yellow. Slither red now. Flag is in the field. Let's see if they can pick this up. And no, he was the second to the flag, and again, I think Mojo was the return there, no. Yeah, it might have been, I missed that. All right, Team Inferno, Sorry, I didn't score. pick up the Argy in time, but he caps, so that takes it uh, two to one to the uh, Ulm side. So Ulm getting the go-ahead cap, and we've got, this is Ambient, and he had no momentum at all, and we'll leave that. We're back to Wildcat, and he got nailed by a grenade there. That was... Uh, uh, Bungle with the grenade from the front just uh, taking him all the way down and killing him and uh, Bungle getting the return there so this is the uh, E side some spam coming in there from the field that is standard and we're off him Hawk with the grab good speed copped the snipe though he's in deep red and hasn't got a repair pack snipe's missing let's take a look behind him looks like someone threw a strike off of him but he gets nailed by uh, assassin there with the snipe and pick up by Potsy. Beautiful work there. He came screaming out of a strike by the looks of it and picked it up in the midfield. Now he's heading up towards his flag. There's some gifts coming in. Team he's gonna it. Score. And there it goes. So that brings us uh, back to 3 1 to Olm. So Olm starting to get on top of this map by the looks of it. Let's uh, take a look at the gens quickly. This is the Olm side. And as we say that, we've got a grab from Mojo Man, yellow health, snipes are missing, he's got mortars after him, that one just missed him, it was a nice shot. Uh, he's got some chainers there in behind him. Uh, deep red, and the snipe finally takes him down, that was Assassin again, who I believe is BK. And uh, I'm not allowed to say Burger King, because it really pisses him off. So that flag is in the field, and we've got... Uh, a grab there by, and I missed who that was, Linwan, and he got killed by, with a uh, spike zone. And body block there, that was his uh, bungle with the flag, he got body blocked, and he's coming in. And we've got... Uh, Team Inferno, cap. score! Uh, that is uh, four to one, so chain capping by the on side, that's uh, three quick caps in succession, in succession which is... Uh, really swung this map their way and he is going to have a hard time with 10 minutes left on the map to uh, pull back a uh, three cap lead. Uh, now, so this is the uh, on side, obviously we've got Mongol doing some HOF there, we've got a couple of turrets up around but some, some spam coming in, alright, Potsy with grab runs into a pole and a teammate and nailed by a turret there and MT, I hope you're watching but I just got the bug, I just got the switch then. Um, 
All right, now we've got Ambience with the flag in a light kit. Great speed, and we got bumped off him, but here he is, Ambience coming up to the flag, and he's going to cap this as well. This is going to be, oh, bounces off the HOF, and got killed, and before uh, Mogul could cap, we had uh, King Camo with the grab. Let's pick him up. He gets taken out. What was that? And Mongols down, so both flags in the field. The uh, E flag is returned, and so is the OM flag. So OM and E flag returned, so desperately unlucky there. Uh, he got killed, he got bumped off the flag by uh, running into the HOF and then got killed, so. Um, let's uh, just look on base as I say that. We've got Daffy with a grab, great speed. Let's look behind him. He's got some chain guns, but no one really threw some flares off, and. He is looking good here if his flag's at home, which it is. He might come in for a cap. Here he comes. Oh, and he missed it. He missed the flag stand. The, the LD are going to catch up. He's going to have to be careful. And there he goes. Score. And quick backup grab by Assassin. So they're, uh, they're trying to get the chain caps in here. He's close to EVP. We've got a grab from um, King Camo. Sorry, it was... Sorry, Ambient. So we're, we're following an on play here. Sorry. Uh, so that was a, a, a grab there, and uh, Hero with the flag picking that up, and he's chained down there. Flag return, let's pick up King Camo, and could this be, uh, uh, bring them back to one cap? And it does, so two quick caps, bringing it back. Uh, e, you're doing a great job here, let's take a look around the base as quickly while we've got some time. E side here, uh, sorry, on side, and a lot of HO coming in there, we get flicked off, this is, um, Wildcat skiing through midfield in a medium kit. He is full health, looking great. His flag is at home. He's got some chainers after him, but I think they're too far away. We'll just follow him up and see what happens. He's going to have to skiing through the mortars here. And he bounces off the flag again. The LD are going to catch up. He's right in front of him. He gets MA'd and... God damn it. There it goes. And he throws the flag off. Mojo with the grab there. Let's try and jump back. And we've got QT with the flag. And he had a uh, move on his back. That flag is in the field. This is the uh, this is the E flag here, and picked up by a Spider. Sorry, the on flag picked up by Spider, and he's got a shield pack on his back, probably hoping to pick up some uh, repair kits there. And he's got guys all over him, and he looks like he's got some of the LD there. Now the flag has been dropped, so Om has dropped the flag, and uh, he is return This could be the the, the uh, tying cap, and it is so Om pull back three caps in a matter of five minutes, that was incredible, and he's got standard with a heavy grab, he's got no momentum, he's going to want to disc jump pretty soon, cops a little bit of a mortar, some splash damage from mortar, there goes the disc jump, he's got the LD are really catching up to him here, he's going to want to look for a teammate, and he hits the Cactus Lano style, and uh, he dies in the field, and we're just going to keep an eye on his flag, Team he's Storm. being fought over, Storm. and returned there by, uh, by an on player, and his standard says in the, in the chat there, Cactus. So exactly what happened to him. Uh, we've got Q2 with a grab and stupidly runs out of bounds and of course that drops the flags off you and uh, Spider spamming some good games there. We'll just stick with this flag. Actually we might pick up Wildcat, medium kit, deep good red health. He's a slither of red now, one more. And uh, he gets taken down there. Uh, that was uh, an umpire, I didn't pick up who that was, sorry, and return there. So great map we've got, roughly six minutes to go and four all here and there was a kick grab there and drop we've got Raiden with the flag he is good health and as I say that it put the kid to death on him and he got nailed by two grenades at once by uh, Mojo there so um, let's run up to these bases and take a look scores for all eight six minutes left in the map and it's just been a great comeback by um, E there they pulled three caps back within uh, five six minutes so um, this is the uh, E side here, so they've got some spam coming in. JB doing his usual uh, duties. We had a grab that was Deffy, and uh, he was he got killed on the stand as he saw. And like action, another one just getting flicked across these flag uh, carries here, and that was uh, King Camo who got nailed there by uh, Mojo Man on the stand. So you can see if this is uh, Zargon from E doing some HO there. And as we saw, we just flicked through the bases before this. Both teams are really uh, concentrating on this flag error. I think they're not really even attacking the bases at all. So uh, it's probably not a bad tactic. It's um, 
you know, the, this flag area is all important. If you can get it cleared, then you can you can run through some quick capers as you saw from the on so, uh, from the east side, exiled side there. Let's, uh, I'm going to pick on throw here and just see what he's doing. Uh, he's the lowest scorer there, as you can see. And he's doing some HO and throwing some uh, in his comeback game. And he jumps up and sees red health. He's going to get chained down in a second here. Uh, and he runs over to one of his teammates' mind, so we'll jump off him and leave him for a moment. Uh, and, alright, so can people stop saying my name in IRC every time I see you hear it, I uh, look across. So, on side, we've got Mongol coming up here into the base. Uh, we've got, as we say that, we've got Incredulous with a heavy grab. And he went the wrong way. I don't know if he means to grab that up. He's spinning around. He gets nailed by a shock lance sitting the front and finished off with some nice work by Ferno who, who uh, managed to get him in the back. Uh, he is... Who's this? We've got Wildcat with a medium grab. Deep red health. He's not going to live long. There he goes. This by Mojo Man. Flag in the field and that's going to be returned. Yeah, returned by Mojo there. Uh, so, current scores, 4 all, and 3 minutes left in the map, alright, we've got Raiden with the flag in the field, he is running through the midfield looking quite nice, he's going to turn around here and hit a bump, and flag grabbed by Ambient from the onside, so his flag's not at home, let's pick up Ambient, he gets nailed, flag in the field, we'll stick with this and see what happens, return, and let's uh, just go ahead and tap here, if he can get this in, and he can, so Raiden scores, scores, and we've got... He won up 5 to 4 with 3 minutes left, and this is a ripper of a map. They're really going at it here, and uh. Alright, we've got a grab here by Miyagi from the uh. onside, and he's getting nudged there by a, a Shrike, which is right behind him. He is in red health, uh, sorry, green health. He just took some falling damage and scrubbed a lot of speed off there. Uh, he's got a Shrike right behind him, I'm probably Mojo, there's a couple there. He's uh, been chased by two Shrikes in there, LD have got in front of him. He's throwing some discs off. Pops one to the back, he's in deep red. Throw it, oh, and he gets nailed and we got switched automatically. This is uh, standard going the wrong way, trying to prevent the cap and probably just grabbing that in the, in the nick of time. Uh, the E-Flag is in the field and grabbed again by Hawk. We're going to stick with standard, he's in deep red. He's on the track, on his, the way back to his base, but he's going to hit the uh, out of bounds area now. We've got a drop there, so both flags currently in the field will stick with the uh, on flag here. <coughs> and there he goes, that flag is returned, and we've got a quick grab by uh, Deffy from E, and another grab from Om, and Deffy's just jumping, and he's got great speed. He's got LD in front of him. The E flag is... The on flag is dropped. E flag is dropped, so it's gonna, if it gets returned, he's going to be in here. There it is. See if he can cap. There Victory. it goes. Uh, e taking the map there, six to two with about two minutes left, and what a comeback! Six unanswered caps to take that uh, take that map out, and lots of woohoo's there. Obviously, um, very happy with their work, and so they should be. All right, I'm going to kill this cast. We'll be back in just a minute with um, the second map. Uh, which is, of course, a new one, Thunder Giant. I haven't seen this played before, so we'll see how we go. So give us a couple of minutes for teams to get ready, and we'll be back. You're tolerably good.